the fruit of the Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love. Here are some things that I love. Pencils. Sharp pencils. Red pens. Blue pens. The scientific explanation for love is quite complicated, but fascinating. When you mix together equal parts of adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin... No, 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 love! It's all about feeling. Flowers and chocolate. It's spaghetti for two by candlelight. It's dancing in the rain. It's sunshine and rainbows. Huh? Let's just see what the Bible has to say about love. Love is patient and kind. It does not want what belongs to others. It does not brag. It is not proud or rude. It does not look out for its own interests, easily become angry, or keep track of other people's wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is full of joy when the truth is spoken. It always protects, trusts, hopes, and never gives up. Love never fails. And that's the kind of love that Jesus shows us every day. Joy. Woohoo, ice cream. This is gonna be good. Oh. Hey, Armin, what's the matter? My ice cream fell on the ground. Hmm. Sounds like you need some joy. Thankfully, I was looking on the internet and I found this. The Joy Hat 4000. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now I just need to press this and... Are you sure about this, Micah? And pull this. This feels funny! Oh. Ah! Armin, do you feel joy yet? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? Giving Armin joy with the Joy Hat 4000. This isn't working! Whoa. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Try Psalm 1611. It says, You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. You see, Jesus wants us to find our joy in knowing him. A lot of things can make you happy, like ice cream, or being right all the time, or getting straight A's, or an autographed CD of the dream, dude. Yeah, baby, baby, baby. Or even a Joy Hat 4000. But those things won't last. The joy that comes from Jesus lasts forever. I never thought of it like that. If my joy comes from Jesus, I can be happy even though I don't have any ice cream. That's right. And he wants us to show that joy to everyone. Everybody needs some joy. Deep down in their heart. Peace. Peace. I love peas! No, peas, as in the fruit of the spirit? That's a vegetable, Micah. Ah. Chill out. Have some peas, bro. Are you worried, anxious, scared of whatever's in your closet? How about the toes that's about to pop out? <coughs> now! Ah. Well, fret no more with peace. Peas? Peace! The truth and uh. knowledge that God is in control over everything will help you overcome the fears of the world, ah. which include toast! Ah. Philippians 4, 6-7 says, Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. I get it now. Through Jesus, I can have peace, so I won't be afraid of toast. I'm as cool as a blue bumper. Uh, don't you mean cucumber? Nope. Patience. Ah, uh, the library. My favorite place. Nothing like being surrounded by books filled with information and knowledge with no one to bother you. <coughs> huh? Do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some? Um, no thank you. Huh. More for me then. <sighs> Just keep calm, Lydia. He's going to run out of chips sooner or later. Ah, it has come to thee, lone potato chip. As your salty comrades have fallen, one question remains. Will you be as delicious and as crunchy? Only one way to find out. Well, at least it's over now. 
wouldn't take that literally like anywhere else. Hey, Lydia, would you keep it down? This is a library, you know. <laughs> Ephesians 4.2 says, Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Well, there you have it, kids. Lydia did not show patience. As a result, she disrupted the library, and now, <laughs> detention. Also, Mike has got detention for eating chips in a library. He shouldn't do that. Kindness. Welcome to Track and Field Day at Newly Elementary. Brought to you by Shrivel's Prune Juice. He's Pee She's Jane. And we're PB and J. We're all really excited for all the athletes who are running today. They look reluctant for physical activity, but it's gym class. They have no choice. PB, who do you think will be the fastest? I don't know, Jane, but I certainly don't want to be the slowest. Why is that, PB? You see, Jane, as the runners start the race, Chet, our very own school bully, will be released providing that extra bit of motivation they need to give it all they got. Sounds exciting and cruel. Ooh, it looks like Chet escaped. So they're off. Run for your lives! It's a good start for Micah. Looks like he's had some practice running from Chet. Interesting fact. Micah is Chet's favorite kid to beat up. And you can imagine what an excellent training program it is for him to run for his life every day. Oh, no! What do we have here? It looks like Gabe ah. has taken a tumble. Let's have another look at that in our slow motion instant replay. It's just a run time! Next time, he'll have to try harder at crossing those bunny ears. Classic rookie mistake, PB. It looks like this is the end for Gabe, but wait! It appears he's getting a helping hand from his competitor, Micah! Another interesting fact about school bullies is they love the sound of lunch money. I can't tell if he's being brave or foolish. No, PB, he's being kind! Micah is using that to distract Chet away from Gabe. Well, that's it for track and field day at New Leaf Elementary. Looks like there's no losers in this race. We'll see you next year. I'm getting all misty-eyed. Philippians 2.4 says, None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. Goodness. Dino jumping. Dino standing. Plus built-in dino talking action. With attitude. The Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure. I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop. Just go for it. Whoa, is that the Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure I see there? Yeah, my mom gave me this for my half birthday. She always gives me the toy I want because I'm such a good boy. Well, that's really cool. Can I see it? No, I don't like to share. It's mine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to walk away from you now. Hans, you left your... Just go for it! Huh? Who said that? I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop with built-in talking action. You can do it! Do what? Are you saying I can take Hans's toy? That's stealing. Don't be a wimp. Just go for it. Do it. Hmm. Do it. What do should it. I do? do, it. do it. Hey, Armin. What you got there? Hans dropped his Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure, and it's telling me to steal. You can do it. Just go for it. Uh, you do know you're listening to a toy, right? How about listening to what God says? James 4.17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. God says it's a sin to steal, so I shouldn't take this. I should give it back to Hans. Do the right thing! You said it, Captain Karate Dino Cop. I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop. Hans, I think this is yours. Oh, that old thing? Who needs it? Opa, destroy this plastic relic. Affirmative. Do the right thing! Oh, what a waste of a perfectly good action figure! I have the new toy! Sergeant Captain Karate Dino Cop! Goodness! Captain Karate Dino Cop, it's sold out in every shop. How could Hans let it drop? Goodness! Should Armin go for the steal when the toy spits for real? No, he knew a better way! Armin was good today! Faithfulness! In a world where fair-weather friends are everywhere... Hey, that's a cool hat! One of my friends? That was lame! We're not friends anymore. And gossipers betray the trust of others. I have a fear of toast. Please don't tell anyone. Your secret is safe with me. Psst. Gabe's afraid of toast. What a nerd! Betray! From the creator of love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness and goodness comes a tale of three friends. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Who thought nothing could come between them. The Captain Karate Dino Cop 3D movie is coming out. We have to go see it. We'll see it together. together. But when one of them forgot to do their homework. I forgot to do my homework. I can't go see the movie. But we had this planned for months. Ugh, we bought the tickets already. Their friendship was put to the test. Our friendship is being put to the test. Hey. I just said that. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't sleep through math class. I can't help it. Math is so boring. boring. A decision would have to be made. A decision has to be made. Come on, guys. Get your own lines. Sorry. We can't just leave him like this. You know how he is with math. 4 plus 12 equals... With time running out. 20 minutes until the movie. We don't have much time. Go on without me. I'm not going to make it. Would they abandon their friend? Or would they show? Let's do this! Faithfulness. 1 Peter 4.10 says, God's gifts of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. What? Gentleness. Just add some stars, then a dash of color, and voila! Armin the astronaut exploring the vast reaches of space! Hey, Armin! Look what I made! That's a nice, uh... It's a hippo! You call that a hippo? Looks more like a blue blob! You sure your pen didn't explode all over your paper? <laughs> See ya, losers! Oh! Hey, Gabe. Don't worry about Chet. I like your art. You do? Sure. I mean, the colors are the wrong shade, and the lines are shaky, and the proportions are way off, and... I get it. It looks bad. Hmm. What should I do? Titus 3, verse 2. Tell them not to speak evil things against anyone. Remind them to live in peace. They must consider the needs of others. They must always be gentle toward everyone. Hey. I've got an idea. How about I give you some drawing tips and we can make your hippo even cooler? Yeah! And maybe we can put hippo in space! I like the sound of that. Wow, wow cool. this is great! A flying hippo in space? Did you draw this, Gabe? Yep. You're the best drawer in class. Looks like you have some competition. Don't worry, Armin. Maybe someday you'll be as good as me. If you practice. <laughs> oh, oh, very funny. Do do gentle Dennis, that's what they call me. Gentle Dennis, hoo ha, whoops! Hi, Dennis. Oh, is that box for me? Uh, yep. Uh, one box of uh, Frank Giles. Sign here. Oh, goody! You can never have too many test tubes. I can't wait to. Oh my! Self control. It's the, the self-control game! Where each contestant has to show self-control if they want to win big! Round one. one! Our first contestant is Armin! And he's been given a mystery package! He has to resist the temptation of opening the package no matter how curious he gets! This looks familiar. Wait a second, is this a Captain Karate Dinocop action figure? Huh? This is just an oddly shaped potato! You, you are eliminated! Oh no! Round two! In this round, Lydia must listen to Hans singing karaoke for 30 seconds without pressing the button that will release a bucket of mashed potatoes right on his head. This should be a brace for Lydia, who always seems to have a level head. She might just be the one to win big today. People getting jealous of my robot. He's Uber. I'm Hans. You're not. I can't take it anymore. That was quick. And Round three. It's down to our final contestant, Micah. What do we have in store for him, Jane? Well, PB, he's got his work cut out for him because he has to stay awake while listening to Mr. Turtle talk about potatoes. Potatoes come in many shapes and sizes. Some big, some small, some are oddly shaped. He has to show self-control right now or he will be eliminated. Must stay awake. This might be a good time to tell the audience about our sponsors.
The self-control game is brought to you by Obadiah's Ugly Shaped Potatoes and 1 Corinthians 10, 13. You are tempted in the same way all other human beings are. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted any more than you can take. But when you are tempted, God will give you a way out. Then you will be able to deal with it. Do you want more Laugh and Grow Bible? What do you mean? Sign up for Minnow and get more Bible stories and loads more amazing shows. Wow! How cool is that? Minnow is a great place to stream Christian shows for kids. Amazing! Download the Minnow app and start your free trial today. Yay! Pride comes before destruction and an arrogant spirit before the fall. Why am I running? Why is Chet blue? I know, so many questions. Uh, let me explain. You see, I was in class minding my own business, but my blue pen stopped working. I tried to shake it to get it writing again, but instead it flew out of my hand and into the fan, which ricocheted off the janitor who was holding blue paint, which fell on Chet's head. So, as you can see, totally not my fault. This is all your fault! You're gonna pay for this! Oh my! It's Mrs. Petunia's class. I gotta get out of here before she notices me. I'll get you next time, Micah. Oh, right. Lost him. Picture children in a world where the sky is made of lasagna and the people are giant meatballs. Who will have the strength, the endurance, the charisma to take on the star role? Oh, no. I'm in the drama class. Every year, Miss Petunia makes students act in her weird food-based plays. There's I'm Not Your Friend, Much Ado About Celery, and Let's Talk About It. I should get out of here before she notices me. Gasp! A volunteer! How wonderful! How courageous! You are the star! Mike is a star. Mike is a star. Mike is a star. Mike is a star. Well, it's a star. He's a star. Yay, Mike is a star. I'm the star? You're going to shine, my boy. Wow, the star rule. Nice work, Micah. How did you become the star, Micah? I didn't know you liked to act. Don't act so surprised, Lydia. Maybe Miss Petunia just saw my raw, natural talent. Micah, Micah, can I have your autograph? Sorry, this is the only picture I have. You're the one in the back eating the hot dog. Well, I suppose. Oh, boy! This is going to be worth something someday. Looks like you're a big deal, Micah. Hope it doesn't go to your head. Don't worry, guys. It's just a little bit of attention. I won't let it get to my head. Micah, we hear you the star of Mrs. Petunia's new play. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite pie? Blue. Apple. Uh, Blapple? Blapple? New word! Love it! Sensational! Well, thanks. I try. Hold the phone. Who are you guys? He's Phoebe. He's Jane. And we're Phoebe and Jane. Bringing you what's hot. And what's not. All the latest scoops in school celebrity news. Blapple? It's the new word? Gee, news travels fast. To think, Micah, yesterday you were a no-name. A nobody. And now you're what everyone is talking about. And that's what makes you special. You're not like the others. Hey, you're, you're a, a star. star. I'm a star.
hit me with the juice box. Is the new mica merchandise ready? Yes, sir, Meister. And good news! A shipment of collectible mica baba heads has come in. We need to talk. Hey, you can't just walk into my dressing room unannounced. Dressing room? This is the janitor's closet. You have posters, bobbleheads, your own flavor of potato chips. Yeah. This has gone to your head. Remember, pride always comes before the fall. Whatever. Have you ever read the story of King Nebuchadnezzar? He was so full of pride, he even built a statue of himself. If you don't watch out, this ego is going to bite you in the... But you never had the opportunity to be a star in a big play. You're just jealous. And besides, it's not like I'm making a big statue of myself. One big statue of self for, uh, Mr. Micah Superstar. Um, put it in the back. Really, Micah? I'm out of here. You've changed. See you later, Superstar. Who needs you anyways? I have my adoring fans. Micah, it's time to get ready. It's almost showtime. It's here, folks! The big day of the release of Mrs. Petunia's school play! What can we expect, Phoebe? Well, Jay, not much is known about this. Not much at all. <laughs> Phoebe, that's no help at all! Hold the phone, it's the star now! Micah, Micah, are you feeling nervous? What's this play about? Blapple, y'all. Well, there you have it, folks! Blapple! Couldn't have said it better myself! We still don't know anything about this play! Sensational! It's my moment to shine. Hey. Hey, kid. Kid. Hey, kid. Put this on. A warm welcome to all of you here. Thank you for joining me on this momentous occasion. The children have worked really hard to bring my vision to life. Be thrilled and moved as you experience the last mate ball, a love story. Not what I was expecting from the star role. Hmm, a meatball! My favorite! That is an illegal meatball. Oh no! Oh my, oh mama! She would always tell me of the great spaghetti robot war of the year 3000. So many meatballs were lost. She would always tell me, whenever you were lonely, to look up to the sky. <gasps> look up way up high. Out there, so far would be a bright, uh, shining... Star? He must be talking about me. A meatball! Hi, Micah. I'm a meatball. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe they made me the star. I wish I was a meatball. Peppy, you have taught us more about life than we could ever learn from our data banks. And for that, we call you friend. Here, have a meatball. Gasp! The last meatball! Everybody loves a spicy meat. If you let me hold the rope, I'll give you this sandwich. Deal. <laughs> it's payback time, Micah. Is there a uh, pastrami on that? So we will gather meatballs. We will gather meatballs. I'm a spicy meatball. Thank you. Thank you. I just knew you would love it. Uh, can you get me another juice box? Get your own, Superstar. Wow, a colossal failure. 
He's hot. Not Micah. Out with the old, in with the new. Gabe had a sensational performance. Gabe, you're going to be big. What's your favorite pie? What's your favorite color? You're a star. I am. Guys, I can explain. I thought I was someone special. Turns out I'm not important. I'm just a nobody. You are important, Micah. It doesn't matter what people say. You, you mean it? Of course. We're still friends. Hey, you guys want to come over tonight? My mom's making meatballs. I think I've had enough meatballs for one day. What do you have that God hasn't given you? And if everything you have is from God, why boast as though it were not a gift? Oh boy, that escalated fast. Looks like I'll have to find a place for those posters, bobbleheads, cereal boxes, Micah Frisbees, Mike is so great, trademark t-shirts, and giant statue. It was so easy to get caught up in wanting to be a superstar. I really felt like I was better than everyone else because of all the attention. The truth is, I'm not. God created us and loves us all equally. He loves the ones in the spotlight, and he loves the ones that no one sees. <laughs> Romans 12, 18. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, Live at peace with everyone. I was programmed to be the coolest robot on the planet. Negative, I am the coolest robot on the planet. That is illogical. There can be only one way to solve this. Robot, robot battle! battle! Or, both robots talk it out, and no one gets hurt, and they live happily ever after. Lydia? Lydia. <laughs> hey, babies! Are you having fun with your baby toys? <laughs> this is Hans. He's a foreign exchange student who's always got the coolest gadgets. That looks nice. And always brags about it. <laughs> I wonder what amazing piece of technology he has this time. <laughs> I have a real robot. Say Uber Gross and Reckner 3000. At your service. And it can do anything I want. Uber, play me some music. Affirmative. <laughs> Oh, so good, some classical music. Maybe when you babies grow up, you can have a robot too, if you can afford it. Uber, play me out with some funky music. Funk mode activated. See you babies later. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Ugh, I think it's moving. Oh, something smells terrible. Did you babies wear schmutz your diaper? Or is that your lunch? Booyah! Nice fun. Maybe you should have your own robot chef to cook you up a gourmet meal. Ha 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 ha. He's perfect in every way. A robot chef? Now that's cool. It's not that cool. It's very cool. A little bit of this, and a little dab of that. And finally, you just need to add one drop of calturnium phosphate and... Oops. Uber safety protection mod. Oh, look, it's the babies all covered in goop. What's the matter, babies? Forgot your bibs at home? <laughs> cool. <sighs> oh, look at me. I'm Hans and I have a robot. Isn't it amazing? It can do all the things you can't. A little jealous, are we? Jealous? Why would I be jealous of his super cool robot that does everything for him? Yep, yep. You're, you're jealous. jealous. Look, reacting like that only gives him what he wants. Besides, would you really be happier with a robot of your own? If you had a robot, then you can totally mop the floor with Hans's robot in an epic robot battle of the ages! That's it! I'll get a robot. Lydia, you're a genius. I didn't mean it like that. And just how exactly do you think you're gonna get a robot? Ooh! I've got one of those! Mr. Mr. Dundleberry, Dundleberry, you have a robot? Sure I do! That's how I clean up after class! Mr. Cleanybot is perfect for dusting, mopping, and scrubbing! It cleans dirt and grime in half the time!
Would you mind looking after it for a little while? I have to go to a cat slipper convention. We sure can. Excellent. Toodaloo. <whistles> Would you look at that? I have a robot. <laughs> Did he just say cat slipper convention? The prune juice stain is gone. Mr. Cleanybot, you're the best. Cleaning stuff. That's neat. Action mode? I wonder what that does. Yeah. Maybe it can shoot lasers out of its eyes or transform into a car. How about help you with your homework, Micah? <laughs> Micah? Hiya! Hiya! Hi! No! No! Lower! No, lower! Robot, you are my best friend. I know. Hey, Hans. Hmm? Oh, it's the robotless baby. What is so important that you interrupt my swinging, ya? Yeah? Guess who else has a robot? Oh, you mean that oversized calculator? Oh, oh please. please. <sighs> what are you doing? He just called our robot a calculator. Let's just talk this out in a calm, orderly... He just called our robot a calculator! <laughs> Calculate this! <laughs> Mr. Cleanybot, it's time to clean house. Hope you're ready to take your calculator home in a trash can. <laughs> Battle mode. Whoa-ho-ho! Is this what I think it is? I don't like the looks of this. Oh boy, it's a robot battle! You babies think you can defeat my robots? He is superior in every way! Stop calling me a baby! I can't watch. I can't wait! Uba, it's them with your glimmer eyes! Laser eyes! Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> is that the best you can do? Oh, it's on like that monkey donkey sing! Uba, mallet kick now! Come on, Clark. What is that? Is that soap? It's a battle mop. <laughs> oh no, Uba! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's a cleaning bot. Thanks for the polish, Uba. Get some with the fist of hammer! Ha 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 ha! Let's roll, Uba! Send me the cleaning bill, babies! Oh no! Uh oh. Mr. Cleanybot was made for cleaning, not for cool robot battle! Um, I, I can explain. Okay. Maybe I can't explain, but we can make it up to you, right, guys? Next time you decide to get into a robot battle, don't! Now we gotta clean the classroom after school until he gets his robot online. Less talking and more scrubbing! Those floors aren't gonna clean themselves, you know! Uh. Psalm 37 1 says, Don't be upset because of sinful people, don't be jealous of those who do wrong. What a mess. Not only did I wreck Mr. Cleanybot, but I also got my friends in trouble. All because I was envious of Hans. I thought getting my own robot would make me cooler, or even make Hans envious of me. But there's better ways to deal with it. Hebrews 13.5 says, And be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. When I let my envy get the best of me, I lost focus of what's important. I have Jesus as a friend. And when I remember that, I can be content with whatever I have. Mmm, sardine sandwiches, my favorite! Ow. Hang on, Gabe. Didn't you forget something? Oh, right! I forgot radishes. Yum! Uh, no. He means you didn't say grace. You know, like prayer. I'm confused. How do I pray for a sardine sandwich? Why would God want to hear about that? Can I talk to God about anything? Should I 
book an appointment. Do I need a megaphone? Should I do a fancy cartwheel wearing a funny hat? <laughs> Can I pray to God even when I'm singing flat? Don't worry about it, Gabe. It's easy. Yeah, no sweat. You whoa, don't need whoa. to spin around till your stomach gets upset. You don't need to read a script. Or speak with fancy words. God hears what's in your heart. So tell him your concerns. You can pray for those you love, like your friends and your family. But don't stop there. You can pray for your enemy. Anytime is fine to bring your problems big and small. Give each and every one to him. God cares for, for them all. all. Pray. Because he's listening. Even when you're whispering, pray. He'll give you peace within. Pray, 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 pray. pray, pray. Any time or place. In each and every case. Pray to, to help, help you run, run the race. race. Pray, 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 pray. Now that I know that praying is easy, I'm going to pray to God about everything. I'm going to pray to God for everything. When the milk's expired, toast on fire, and I got a bee sting. When it's early in the morning or in the afternoon, I know God will hear my voice even under. There's no oxygen. No one can hear you. God can! Pray. pray! It'll help you grow. Pray when the answer's no. Oh. Pray. Trust the Lord, he knows. Pray, 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 pray. 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 When you sing a song, pray. pray. When the loading's long, pray. pray. When you spell it wrong, pray, 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 pray. 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 When you're feeling <laughs> smug, pray. pray. With your favorite mug, pray. Pray, 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 pray. 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 Ephesians 6.18 says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. In Jesus' name, Amen! now time for the showing of an item, followed by the telling of said item. Who would like to go first? Don't raise your hands all at once. The show and tell, for those who don't know, holds the key to your status in the classroom for the day. Bring something new, and don't be surprised if you get labeled with an embarrassing nickname. Um, I brought this carrot. Carrot head. I glued this football to a turtle. Glue boy! Fountain pen! What are you, some fountain pen person? What? They're not going to all be gems, you know. I brought something that's sure to impress. I brought something great. Something amazing. Something you've never seen before. Something you... What is it already? All right, all right. My family and I went fishing. I didn't catch any fish, but I caught this hat. Check this out. Fishing is well when you're out on a lake, but what's better than that is a big fish hat. Fish hat. Pretty cool, right? It doesn't even rhyme! Is that a real fish? It's not a real fish. I bet it smells! Oh, you know what Vika's new name is? No. His name is... No! Fish boy! Fish boy! Fish No! Vika's <laughs> <laughs> a fish boy! <sighs> Why did I think this would work? My class status has officially dropped. All right, let's all calm down after that terrible show and tell. Who's next? Look what I found! A kitty cat! I call him Stinky. Ew! Gabe, that's not a cat, it's a... Skunk! skunk. Uh, 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 Everybody calm down. Everybody panic! Ah! Did someone say picnic? No, there's a skunk on the loose. Well, that's disappointing. I'll go get my net. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. All right, children. After me. La, 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 la. La, 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 la,
la 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 Someone, uh, say sandwiches? I mean, skunk? There's a skunk on the loose! Seems like the little critter likes music. Interesting. Whatever shall we do? Don't worry, Miss Petunia. I'm on the case. I can't believe Gabe brought a skunk to class. At least it took attention away from my fish hat. Oh, that was a bad show and tell. I can't be seen with this anymore, unless I want to be called Fish Boy for the rest of my life. Hey! I don't know who threw this, but when I find you, you're dead meat! If there's one thing I can't stand more than a nerd, it's a litter bug. <laughs> What's that smell? Don't look now, it's Gabe. Hi! Oh no. Maybe he doesn't see us. I see oh. you! Can I join you? Uh... Thanks! You know, even though Stinky ran away, I can still smell him. Uh, I think I've lost my appetite. Well, me, yeah, me too. Looks like it's just you and me, Micah buddy. This is not good. If I get seen with Gabe, my reputation will be done for. La 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 la. Oh, what is that putrid smell of my nostrils? <laughs> Pew! Hey, everybody! Stink Boy and Fish Boy are sitting together. Hey, my name's not Fish Boy. I kind of like the name Fish Boy. Better stay clear of the stink pals. Their stink might be contagious. Hey, look, <laughs> there they are, the stink pals. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Hey, Micah, you forgot your lunch. <sighs> I bet Stinky would love to have your leftovers. He always loves sandwiches. I wonder where he is now. Ah! Someone has taken bites out of the children's sandwiches! Mm, and not just any sandwiches. He skipped the egg salad and went straight to the pastrami on rye. This critter's got good taste. If that skunk isn't caught, what will the children eat? Don't worry, lunch lady. I'm on the case. Hey, it's Micah's fish hat. I wonder why it's in the garbage. I'm sure he misses it. I better give it back to him. Gabe, he's everywhere. I can't get away from him. Hi, Micah! Ah! Hi, Micah! 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 Eh! Oh, it's just a squeaky wheel. Get a hold of yourself, Micah. Hey, Micah! Ah! Whoa, what's the matter? It's Gabe. I can't get away from him. People keep calling me Fish Boy and... and... Oh, relax. It's just a joke. Besides, didn't you throw that fish hat in the garbage? Hi, Micah! It's Gabe! And the fish hat! Have any of you seen a turtle with a football glued to it? Hey, Micah, I found your fish hat. You left it in a trap! <laughs> it's stuck. Hey, look, there they are, the stink pals. And Fish Boy's got his fish hat on. Stink pals, stink pals, stink pals, stink pals, stink pals. We're famous, stink pal. I'm not your stink pal. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, leave me alone. But I thought you'd be happy I brought your fish hat. Ah! <laughs> hey, wait a second. I recognize that fish hat. <laughs> That's the litter bug. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Come back here. <gasps> Come back here. Oh boy, it's a chase scene. Wait up, guys. A work of art, if I do say so myself. This little skunk won't stand a chance. Ah! Come back here! Wait for me! Aha! There's the skunk. And it's on that little girl's head. Although I'm a little disappointed the little guy didn't go for my sandwich. I guess I'll be seeing you later. Don't worry, little girl. I'm on the case. Come 
back here, Skunk. Uh, 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 hey! Boy, I'm out of uh, shape. Uh, uh, hey, you! Oof! Gotcha! What is going on? Anyone ever tell you you kind of look like a skunk? Hey! Skunk! Phew! Well, see you later. All right, see you later. Hey, wait a second! Ah! Fishing is swell when you're out on a lake, but what's better than that is a big fish hat. Fish hat. Pretty cool, right? It's time to teach you a lesson about littering. Ah! <laughs> I, uh, I, I can't get out. Help! So, you fell for my trap, I see. I've just got one question for you, little skunk. Did you like the sandwich? You did? Well, I'm not surprised. You got great taste. Hey, I got a whole song about sandwiches. You want to hear it? Okay, follow me. La 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 la. Oh! Hey, what is all this racket? Chet threw me in this garbage bin and now I can't get out. I see you found yourself in the trash where you belong. Can you help me? <laughs> me? Get in the smelly garbage can and help you? I would never stoop so low. <laughs> See you later, fish boy. Uh, ugh. I wish I never brought this fish hat to school. I wish Gabe never brought that skunk. I wish... I wish I wasn't so mean to Gabe. If I didn't care so much about what people thought of me, I wouldn't have ended up in the trash. If only I could say sorry. But it's too late. I'm going to be stuck here in this smelly garbage bin forever. Hi, Micah! Gabe? Need a hand? La 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 la. Oh. <laughs> Ugh, what a mess. Hey, thanks, Gabe. What are friends for? Look, I'm I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I was just I was just thinking of myself. That's okay. I forgive you. Oh, there you guys are. Whoa. Whoa. You guys really smell. Well, it looks like we're real stink pals now. Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Romans 15, 7 says, Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Fish boy, stink boy, the stink pals. Being called names can hurt even more than being thrown in a garbage bin. But just because someone calls you a hurtful name doesn't mean that's who you are. What really matters is what God thinks of you. He loves you so much that he sent his own son to die for you on the cross. When you believe in the name above all other names, Jesus, you become a child of God and no other label matters. When I remember that, I can show the same love to others that Jesus shows me, no matter who they are or what they smell like. Even if they smell like a skunk or garbage. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need a shower. This has gone to your head. Remember, pride always comes before the fall. Whatever. Have you ever read the story of King Nebuchadnezzar? He was so full of pride, he even built a statue of himself. You're just jealous. And besides, it's not like I'm making a big statue of myself. One big statue of self for, uh, Mr. Micah Superstar. You know, people who think too highly of themselves sometimes do some pretty crazy things. Just like King Nebba Nobly Nebble Nibble some scissors. That's King Nebuchadnezzar. Medical sweater? Nebuchadnezzar. Let's just call him Nebby for short. Have you heard of King 
Nebuchadnezzar. It's a story of a man who thought no one could be better with his heart full of pride. He never saw it odd that it's wrong to ask people to treat you like your god. He thought highly of himself and said, what could be better than to build a big statue of King Nebuchadnezzar? He said, bow to my statue. To his people in all earnest. If you fail to bow down, you'll be thrown in a furnace. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to the statue made of gold. What? Are you mad? You will bow to my statue? Nebi said, You can run, but you know we will catch you. We won't run. They replied, We, we have, have nothing to fear. We know God will save us. And our conscience will be clear. We, we won't, won't worship, worship you or your gods or anything. anything. No God but our God, and that is that, oh, oh Nebi King. King. Fine, tie them up. Turn the furnace up to seven. seven. Throw them in the fire. See if help comes from heaven. Now before you all say this story isn't fair, shouldn't God save his people when they bow to him in prayer? Well, God showed up, made the people all stare. They looked into the furnace and saw four people there. Their jaws all fell and their eyes grew wide. Nebi said, oh, look, the son of God's inside. Come out of the furnace. Your God must be real. Yeah. The three men were fine and no fire did they feel. Nope. With the change of heart, Nebi made a decree that all people worship God and not bow down to Nebi. If not, I will beat them up. I'm going to make them pay. Black eyes and wedgies are the order of the day. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that's not very nice. I wouldn't do that. King Nebi went crazy, but soon came to his senses, gave his life to God. That was the general consensus. Hey, I, I, got, I got a rap too. My name is Dennis, and I like to eat sandwiches. And, what, is the song over already? Well, that's it? Do you want more Laugh and Grow Bible? What do you mean? Sign up for Minnow and get more Bible stories and loads more amazing shows. Wow, how cool is that? Minnow is a great place to stream Christian shows for kids. Amazing! Download the Minnow app and start your free trial today. Yay!